And then, um, do you think that me buying, let's say if I do get lucky, I win the lot or buy the best camera ever, do you think that will make me create the best work if I like buy Ari Alexa tomorrow? Mm. Does that mean like all my shit is gonna be dope? No, no, it's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be worse than it was before. Oh, okay. Why do you say that? Because it's always um, my uncle. Actually, my my uncle in law. He's a photographer, and he told me one time, brilliant piece of advice. He always said that the best camera is the one that you know and feel comfortable with. Um, I I I would actually sometimes even want to take my lower level camera that I'm more comfortable with. Sometimes I'd rather take to a bigger project if I'm nervous about it than getting a bigger camera because you're familiar with it. You know what you're going to get. Um, so if you, the, the key to it is practice and process. I think that one of the questions that, that I saw there, I might be skipping around, is what is the misunderstandings about the, um, about the industry? And I think that that's one of them, is that it's about... People, like, you can think that it's about creativity, you can think that it's about gear, and it's actually not. It's really about, like, um, like I said, it's about process, and, and so you have to literally be disciplined and know what you're doing and know what you're going to get, right? And so when you get a new camera, there's an infinite number of things that you don't know about it yet, you literally need to get to know this camera and how to create a system around it again, like I said, and how that's going to operate. Um, um, and so with, with shooting especially, it's, it's really very process-oriented because, for example, if you put the card in the wrong way, you mess up the card reader, right? Or if you, or if you change a setting, but then the setting automatically changes back when you turn the camera off and on again, right? You might not know that this new camera has that feature because you've never worked with it before. So um, you're always going to do your best with a camera that you've practiced with before. And you'll notice that, that on bigger productions, that's what they do. Um, if you go look at the process, the pre-production process for Hollywood films, for example, right? They literally screen test every single piece of equipment. Right, so they test it like what what they use in sports is they say practice the way you play, and that's literally what they do. Set up the camera as they're going to use it and test it as they're going to use it, so that they can see what what are the things that you could run into, mm -hmm. right? Because you're not going to run into it the first time. You literally have to like run the camera several times, mm -hmm. and then maybe on the sixth or the eighth time you'll run into a problem. It'll say the camera might overheat or the card speed might be too slow, right? And, and then you find that out beforehand, before you get to the shoot. I've actually had that happen. Mm. I've actually had that happen. And that was lack of testing. Literally bought new memory cards, put it in the camera. I tested it. It was fine. But I tested it with the camera on a tripod on a static shot. So the amount of data is actually lower, Mm. Right, because on DSLRs they record four to zero, so they compress in camera. So the data rate is actually higher if you're shooting something more dynamic. Mm. When I went and I used it, right, moving shots with actual subjects and things actually happening, it it was popping up the the message to say that the data rate is too fast for the card. This is back when I was still like young, you know, um, and so you learn that. Mm. So yeah, so if you give someone a, a better camera. I'd, I'd actually expect them to do worse work. Yeah, because obviously they don't... Because they don't know. They've never used it before. Yeah. Okay. No, that makes sense. That makes sense.